All right, so let's, let, let's take a look at the situation. So here we have an imbalanced tree, and we want to do a left rotation. Okay, so we want to end up with a nice balanced tree. And so the way that we're going to do that for a left rotation is we're going to start with the grandparent node, and then we're going to manipulate the grandparent's right child, and then we're going to use those as we go through. We're going to have a temporary pointer, and so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set the temporary pointer equal to the grandparent, and so we're going to come in at the grandparent always when we do a rotation. So we're going to set the temporary node to the grandparent's right child. Okay? So what that means in this case is here's our tree, four, six, and eight. We set a temporary pointer that points to the six. Now that we've done that, we can use the grandparent's right child to do something else with it. So we set the grandparent's right child equal to the temporary pointer's left child. Okay. All right, so when we've got our tree, we have three things in it, but we may have other nodes down here. If we only have three things, then x, y, and z can be null. But as we'll see later, we're going to deal with situations where we have other nodes down here. We have the rest of the tree that we need to rebalance. Okay? And it doesn't matter whether x, y, and z are null or whether x, y, and z have nodes there. We're going to deal with them the same way. And so what we do is we set the grandparent's right child to the temporary variable's left child. So Here's the temporary variable's left child, it's y, and so we set the grandparent's right pointer pointing to y. And now that we've reset the temporary variable's left child, we can set that to something else. So we can set the temporary variable's left child, and we set that equal to the grandparent, okay? So we set break this link, and we set the temporary variable's left child equal to the grandparent. And so if we just redraw this, we have 6, 8, we have z being the left child of the 8, we have 4 being the left child of the 6, and now we have x and y being four's two children, okay? And so then the last thing we need to do is use temp instead of the grandparent, okay? So now we use temporary node, that's our six, we use that in place of our grandparent, and so we've rebalanced the tree. That's how we do a left rotation. Let's take a look at a right rotation. So for a right rotation, it's basically going to be the same idea, but slightly different. We're also going to have a temporary pointer, and we set the temporary pointer equal to the grandparent's left child. Okay. So here's our grandparent, here's our node that caused the problem, parent, grandparent. We set a temporary pointer equal to the grandparent's left child. Now that we've set something pointing to this left child, we can overwrite it, so we can say set the grandparent's left child equal to the temporary pointer's 
rights child. Okay? And so again, we've got our x, our y, and our z. And so we take our grandparents' left child, and we point that to our temporary pointer's right child. Now that we've got something pointing to the temporary pointer's right child, we can set the temporary pointer's right child equal to the grandparent. So we take our sixes right child pointer and we point that to the grandparent and we use temp instead of the grandparent. Public node E left rotate and we're going to take a node that we're going to do the rotation on. And we're going to be passed, we're going to be expected to pass the grandparent's node. Right? That's what the left rotation is going to receive. It's going to receive the node that's actually going to do the rotating around. So we set a temporary pointer, and we set that to the node's right child, we set the node's right child to temporary's left child, we set temporary's left child to the node that's doing the rotating, and we return temp. Similarly, for a right rotate, around a node, we create a temporary pointer, set our temporary pointer to our node's left child, set node.left equal to temp.right, set temp.right equal to the node that's doing the rotating, and we return Temp. Okay. So our left and our right rotations are basically the same code but slightly different. So remember the case where we have, for example, a 4 and then an 8 and then a 6. So in this case, we need to do a right rotate. to get the 4, the 6, and the 8. And that is the parent that gets rotated. And then we need to do a left rotate of the grandparent. Okay? And that will give us our nice balanced tree. So in this case, we're going to have to do a left-right rotate. But we know how to do a left rotate, and we know how to do a right rotate. So all we've got to do is call our right rotate with the correct node, call our left rotate with the correct node, and we're done. So we can, for example, have a public node E. Uh, right, left, rotate. That takes a node, and we're going to pass into this the grandparent node. We're always going to pass the grandparent node. Whenever we have an imbalance in the tree, we figure out what the parent is, what the grandparent is, we pass in the grandparent. But we need to rotate first the parent. And when we've rotated the parent, this, so we're going to rotate the 8 around, remember the last step is that we return our temporary variable. 
That's our new parent. That's the six. That's our temporary variable. And so that's what we're going to set into the place. And so after our first step, Here's node, we're going to start with a grandparent. We're going to do a rotation of the eight around the six, and the six replaces the eight. Okay? So we say node.write, which at the moment is pointing from the four to the eight, is equal to write rotate node.write. So our right rotate takes the node dot right, which is the eight in this case, turns it around the six and returns the six as the answer. And then we just need to return left rotate node. So we've done a right rotate, and then we've done a left rotate. Notice that we're doing our right rotate on the parent and our left rotate on the grandparent, okay? Similarly, we can do the other version that also returns a node, and that's a left right, rotate, and it accepts a node E as its parameter, and so we say node dot left is equal to left rotate, node dot left, return right rotate node 